What's going on? Yeah, another update, but this is probably gonna be the most exciting one by far. And not because of this redneck ass lifted fucking 96 Jeep I got in here. <laughs> but that's part of the story. It's pretty, it needs work, but it's pretty badass. 1100 bucks. That's why Jeeps are legit. Anyway, so that kind of ties into my whole, whole little deal we got going on here. So here's what happened. I think the last video I made was a goodbye or a possible goodbye to the Evo. Evo did sell like I thought it would. So got that sold, got money from that. And then people started hitting me up for my X5 that I hadn't even listed yet. Hadn't even listed yet. People were just like, how much do you want for it? <clears throat> so, thought about it. Figured I could make it work. Sold that. X5 gone, Evo gone. Pick this up, 1100 bucks. Guess what I'm doing with the rest? It's time. It's time. R32 Skyline. Boom. So... We're not waiting until the end of the year. We're not waiting until after this year. Now. I'm looking at them now. I'm bidding on them now. Um, I was fortunate enough to meet someone through the car community who actually has a business doing it. And he's not going to charge me full. He's going to charge me like 900 bucks, which is jack shit, to... Um, do basically all the hard work for me. So he has access to all the auctions and whatnot in Japan. So uh, Japan actually has this, I don't know, I don't wanna call it weird and be rude, but they take um, like a few weeks off per year. And this week, of course, the week I decided to go through with R32 right now is the week that is down and everyone is taking a break. I don't really know how that works, but so the auctions are all down this week. Uh, next week, Monday, uh, it starts. So actively searching, actively buying. This isn't going to take long. Um, it'll probably be a month max before we have a, an R32 in here. Um, I am going with the GTST, not the GTR, and I'll tell you why. Uh the GTR is badass, obviously. Um, RB26, twin turbo, although the twin turbo isn't ideal for most because everyone wants to go single, but I I would just beef up the twins. That's just me though, so that's not important. Um, so I'm gonna be tracking this car a lot, a lot. So I'm expecting it to take a lot of abuse. Um, the GTSTs R32s at least come with the RB20 DET. Not very powerful from factory, but it is single turbo and it is uh, capable of holding a decent amount of power. Uh, 400 wheel is pushing it on the stock block, but we're gonna be building the block. I'll get to that as well. Um, so I'm going with the GTST and they're about half the price of a GTR. So I'm gonna have money left over to do stuff to it. My plan is to buy the GTST and I'm gonna buy a separate motor set because RB20s, literally, I could get the motor and the transmission and all the, the ECU turbo, all the accessories. It's like 1400 bucks shipped to my door for that, all that, that whole package. So I'm probably gonna buy another motor, just for, why not? And I'm gonna have that one built. So the motor I buy separate, the one that's not in the car, I'm gonna have that built just in anticipation of this one blowing, because I'm gonna try and put some power into the, the RB20 that's already in the car when I get it. When I get it. Um, so that's that. Not really sure, well actually I am sure what I'm gonna do, it's just a matter of, uh, of finding the events, but this is gonna be like a road course, road course car. I'm not into drifting. <clears throat> I mean, it's fun to do on the streets. You like take a, take a decent corner and get the back end out a little bit and transition, but I'm not, I'm just not, never really been into it for some reason. Like, I don't know why, because I don't know why. 
I really don't. Um, I'm just not really into it. I do enjoy watching it because there's some people are pretty damn good. It's kind of like me and Stance. Like, I would never own one or build one because I think it's a waste of money and time. Um, but they're beautiful cars to look at, definitely. The fitment is A+. Plus. I They look awesome. They look really cool when they get it tucked and fitment's perfect and the cars are spotless. It looks awesome, but just not me. So that isn't to say that we're not going to be making some improvements when I get it because I'm sure the paint's going to be messed up. We're going to do paint correction, uh, detail, uh, wheels, tires, you know me. I'm probably going to throw some 275s or wider on there tire-wise. Um, not really sure on the wheel yet though. Uh, what else? I'm just <laughs> I'm just uh, stoked because I didn't I didn't really think uh, this would happen or turn out the way it's turning out. I thought I was gonna have to wait until next year, but that's not the case. So really amped. All right, let's stop going off different tangents here. Let's collect ourselves and start. <laughs> what are we gonna start with now? Um, Okay, so what am I going to be doing with the car? So I said road race already. <clears throat> uh, maybe some drags. I'm not really into that too because I'm going to get dusted by most of the cars there for the most part. Um, uh, that's not necessarily true, but I'm not going to be like king of the strip. So I'll take it out there since that's what most of my Evo buddies like to do. Uh, we'll hit up some cruises, some back roads. Uh... Uh, I'm not really into autocross because my brain is weird and I tend to overthink shit so I could see myself out there just like brain farting and pausing and just fucking up the course. <laughs> but I, I might give that a shot if some of my Evo buddies talk me into it. I'm sure I'll be out there. Um, oh, and that leads me to something I've been saying I was going to do for a long time and I just haven't because I'm a lazy piece of... No, I'm not even lazy. I'm not going to say that. I'll tell you. want to know what I've been fucking doing? Here, let me hop in this redneck mobile real quick. You see all that? There's like 10 books down there. I'm wrapping up my last year. I'm not wrapping up, but I'm starting. No, I'm in my last year of college. Thank God. So knocking it out four classes per. We're on quarters here. So four classes a quarter. I think I have three, three more quarters of this. So I'm going to do four, three, four, three, and then I'll be done. Freaking finally start making some real fucking money so I can, <laughs> I don't have to choose between this shit. I don't have to buy and sell shit. I can just buy, you know, buy some cool shit and not have to pick between one or the other. So, I mean, I'm not making bad money right now, but I have a job waiting for me that will pay damn near double my uh, my base pay right now. So yeah, a little bit of incentive to go ahead and finish uh, college. Um, so that's that. Damn, we went off on another tangent again, just skipped over what I was gonna say anyway. So remember how I've been talking about getting the, uh, the GoPro going? Well, I haven't gotten that going yet, but I have something better because I can do it now and I don't have to keep procrastinating because I already have the freaking tool. So we're finally going to get some, some kind of action shots. Maybe I can put this on the window too, but see this, I got a little phone mount and it really, it was just so I didn't have to text and drive because I don't want to be a dumbass and crash into someone or t talk and drive because I don't like Bluetooth. So I just keep it in here. But I realized I can just use the my phone how it is now, since I'm recording on my iPhone, just have it pointing at me like people do when they're... I can get my fucking Evan Shanks on, <laughs> or my that dude in blue on, just like, boom. Boom, cars, what it do? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I finally got that going. Um... That'll be a nice addition, because I know you guys are tired of just <laughs> me turning the camera on with a crazy face and then showing you some cars in my garage and then it ends there after a, 
a brief walk around and a life update. I know that <laughs> that probably gets super old, so we're gonna get that shit going. Uh, hopefully my viewers will increase. I think I'm talking to like 13 actual people and then two family members that probably don't watch my shit. <laughs> but uh, we'll get that going. Um, Cause I really, I think I'd enjoy it. Uh, I know I enjoy watching. That's pretty much all I do in my free time when I'm not doing schoolwork. I just watch uh, people like TJ Hunt, Evan Shanks. I was with Shanks from like the beginning. And I even had a few Subarus through watching him. Um, who else? That dude in blue. I know there's motherfuckers I'm missing. I watch a lot of moto vloggers too. Because like, you guys probably know Baker X Derek if you're watching my shit. But I've been watching him longer than I've been watching car shit. And I don't even have a motorcycle. But he is just hilarious. All those motor vlog moto vloggers. If you watch car vloggers like... Uh, like the people I just said, that dude in blue, Evan Shanks, all those dudes, TJ Hunt. Look up Moto Vloggers, like Baker X Derek, Arson Rides, Jake the Garden Snake. Trust me, you may not be into motorcycles, you may not want a motorcycle, or you may want a motorcycle, but these guys are hilarious. Hilarious. It's a and it's a whole new kind of world that you can delve into on YouTube and see how see from their perspective like how it is to ride all their meets all that kind of stuff so that's super cool I would, if you're bored check it out it's super entertaining years of videos you can go back through boom so great another tangent goddamn um so i think that's it for now i've been wanting to do this video for a long time long time being like a couple weeks since i put my last one up but you get the point Wanted to share that with you, wanted to put it on the YouTube, um, R32, GTST, Skyline, process starts Monday, well I mean actually, technically it starts tomorrow because I'm giving the, my deposit to the friend slash importing agent dude tomorrow, and then Monday when the auctions fire back up, it's game time, and I'll keep you guys updated too. I'll probably show you guys what the auction looks like and what it's like to bid and do all the transactions and stuff. And then I'll make videos on uh, how I did it, how much it costs. Because for some reason in the car world, people are pussies when it comes to saying what they pay for something. They either think someone's not going to find a deal as good as them or they think they overpaid. Either way, I'm not a pussy. You're going to realize that really soon if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, exactly what it costs down to the penny, what it costs to import it, the taxes I paid for Oregon, uh, the customs duty taxes, uh, the car itself, because they're not that expensive as min most people think. They just like, oh, it's a Skyline, must be out of my fucking price range, and they just discount it and they don't even think about it, which I did for the first six months that they became legal i was like no fucking way i'm gonna be able to afford it it's gonna be so hyped but you can so we're gonna go over all that it's gonna be a good time we're gonna get some live shots i'm gonna start doing some action videos finally let's go so i'll see you guys in the next one when we're deep into the process all right have a good one